Well, hello gang, and welcome back to another guide video in The Long Dark. I'm Lonely Wolf, and today we're going to be discussing resource management. The Long Dark is full of different resources that you'll utilize to extend your survival. However, most of these resources are particularly finite, meaning that without careful use and planning, it's possible to get yourself in a sticky situation. In today's episode of resource management, we're going to be discussing cloth. Cloth is utilized for making bandages, crafting torches, repairing clothes, and making snow shelters. Because of its wide range of applications and uses, your fledgling supply can quickly be used up, leaving you in a bad situation. Acquiring cloth isn't necessarily that hard at all. It can be found lying about in different locations, reclaimed from clothing you no longer want or need, or harvesting it and collecting it from many other sources like curtains, towels, and old pillows from inside of shelters. However, one should practice conservation when using cloth. Until you're highly leveled in your sewing skill, uh, you'll max out on the larger items of clothing at 30% of that being of the condition being the maximum repair value. So you shouldn't repair your clothes until they fall right around or below 70% condition, as that way you're getting that 30% put back into them to bring them up to 100% with only using one piece of cloth. If you're at 95% and you use one piece of cloth, you've only gotten 5% condition out of that piece of cloth. So wait until you get low enough for your maximum repair weight rate to repair your clothes to the maximum percentage, thus saving your cloth. Try to avoid using bandages on sprains unless you really need to. If you sprained your wrist but are in an area where no wildlife encounters are likely, such as in the ravine between Mystery Lake and Coastal Highway, it may be better just to wait until you sleep the sprain away rather than using a bandage to cure it. Bandages don't take much, a single piece of cloth makes two bandages, but if you're chewing through bandages a lot by getting sprained a lot, it may be time to reconsider how you're moving around the landscape, or start waiting until you sleep to get those sprains gone. When it comes to snow shelters, my best advice is to never let them drop below the condition where it only requires a single stick to repair it. When you are done using the snow shelter, you can simply break it down to reclaim some of the cloth used in constructing it. Snow shelters should also be used sparingly and only in the direst of circumstances or in periods where you know that's going to be your shelter for a long period of time and you are going to be around often enough to just keep pumping a stick into it. Now let's talk about torches. Uh, I prefer to grab my torches from a fire pit but that often leaves you with a very low condition torch which means they're not terribly useful for spelunking or lighting up wherever you're going when it's dark because they'll burn out relatively quickly. Crafting a torch is always a possibility, but that is one cloth you'll never get back again. Now, it's only one cloth, so depending on how often you use torches and for how long, this probably isn't a major consideration, but if you use torches a lot, it may not be a good idea to do that. I find that as long as I have a torch or two at full condition that I save for those times where I need to go spelunking through a cave or something, and I can save those for my important lighting needs, and I can use the lesser condition torches for shorter stints of requirements, like lighting fires to make sure I only use one match. Part of the struggle new players have with cloths is they typically only rely on what they find lying around, or what they've reclaimed from clothes they'll no longer be using because they're not aware that there is a vast amount of cloth out there that can be collected. However, it's far more plentiful than just what you find lying around or what you get from your used up clothing. If you are sheltering inside any house or major building during a blizzard uh, and you can't really go outside, you can maximize your time by collecting uh, all the sources of cloth from inside that house. You can also do this at any other time as well. Uh, so every curtain, every towel, every pillow, every old bedroll, etc. is a source of cloth. Some of these will require a tool to break down and some can be broken down by hand. It's possible to get upwards of 50 cloth out of a single major house, like the farmstead in Pleasant Valley. You can also, albeit slowly, collect cloth from beachcombing, as it's a potential item to wash ashore there. If you haven't seen my video on beachcombing, I'll have a card for that in the upper right. So at this point, you may be saying, Lonely, if there's so much cloth available, should I ever bother conserving my use of that? And the answer to that question isn't quite as straightforward as you might imagine. It depends entirely on what your goals are and how you're playing. In Interloper, cloth goes a much longer way than some of the other difficulties because most of your clothing will end up being of the crafted variety by the time you start getting into the later game. Also, if you only take your survival runs to about the 100 day mark and then retire them to start a fresh run, 
Cloth conservation really isn't important. But if you intend to maximize your survival and go for the longest possible runs, pushing upwards and beyond to 500 days, then making sure you don't waste any cloth will ensure that you're prepared to keep your clothes in good condition and supply you with bandages should you get bitten by the wolves or mauled by a bear. Cloth is a major resource, but thankfully there's a lot of it to be had as long as you leave your first region. As long as you're not wasteful and clear several regions, you should have plenty of cloth to keep you going for quite some time. I hope these tips have helped you, and if you have any other questions about cloth or managing your resources of cloth and collecting it, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'll be making a lot more of these guides as well as several more on the subject of resource management. Consider subscribing to catch those videos as they drop. I hope you guys did enjoy, and as always, stay safe and stay warm out there.